Good afternoon, everybody. Mike Winkler here, and I wanted to take a minute and I wanted to talk about using Sysmon and specifically XPath to get a certain variety of data from your Windows machine, servers, and workstations into your Q radar. Now, this is a second in a series of what's turned out to be a very complicated topic about how to get Windows logs effectively into your Q radar or your SIM environment. Now, this is not because the problem is all that complex, more that there's so many answers, most of them good answers on how to get the data there. So let's drill right into this. Okay, the problem we are trying to solve, we always have to start out talking about the signal to noise ratio, right? I want to give you all of the good data without having to give you a bunch of garbage data that makes it difficult to read, okay? And in the case we are talking about with Sysmon, this is uh, file integrity and process monitoring. And I know some of you folks have um, requirements to do FIM or file integrity monitoring in your environment. And even without it, this is nice data to have, okay? So we're going to use a native Windows utility called Sysmon and a native QRadar utility called WinCollect. Now these both cost you zero dollars, right? If you own a QRadar, you own the WinCollect. If you own the Windows boxes, you own the Sysmon. So those are not charge items for anybody on that. Um, what makes this one a little bit complicated is the volume is going to be highly variable, depend on how you used it. There's been uh, some of these videos I've made over the last couple of weeks where I've talked about how to use data stores or more specifically in QRock, I cannot uh, use data stores. So if I have large volumes of non-security data, it doesn't work as well in a QRock environment. In this case, all of the data either is or is not valuable. There's no lesser data, right? Either you are required to have uh, file integrity monitoring or you're not. So um, this is one of those things you're gonna have to examine kind of closely because this is something that is gonna be a good sized pile of events when we start looking at these busy file servers and the like. Okay, so uh, when we're going through and we're building this way, um, I'm trying to give you some good references to work with. Um, oddly enough, there hasn't been a bunch of good videos on this. That is to say there are videos, but they are on the hard way to do this or the old way to do it. I'm gonna show you how to grab that Sysmon using a tool called XPath where we write no code, right? Because I am essentially lazy and I understand that you're probably an efficient bunch of guys and that you want to do this without having to monkey around with code. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I will, once we get to the end of this, I will throw some links in the comments section, right? So that you can go through to some back research on this. But you should be able to do this without writing a single line of code, okay? Okay. So getting busy on this. There is a piece you do need to add to your Q radar. This is the content extension for Sysmon. It is in the app store, it's real standard. It doesn't require even a deploy changes. And I wanna draw attention to the number of custom rules here. That is to say, specifically, there are 89 rules written making use of Sysmon data. So later when I show you the data in QRadar, I don't need to write any rules to parse this. QRadar is so darn smart. They're all already written. Can you write more rules? Of course you can. You can do whatever you like. I have an extremely powerful rules wizard. But I want to let you know that Sysmon is a powerful and extremely smart tool, as is QRadar. So most of this work is done for you. Okay. So this is my win collect configuration console. Okay, it's a little different than what we looked at before, but I want to focus for you on the XPath query. Now, if you are an XML madman and you want to write things by hand, that's awesome, and you go right ahead. Um, for the rest of us, I will show you how we can capture an XML that we place in this. So what this means is the win collect agent is going to reach out and do a pull from the Windows log of some very specific information. And what that specific information looks like will determine here in the next couple of panels, right? So we're gonna need to go come back to this. And this is my Windows event viewer. And you will notice that there is a subscriptions tab at the bottom, okay? Once we get to that subscriptions tab, it's gonna go through and it's gonna say, hey, you know, subscription name, all of that good stuff. And we can go through and we can create this. Okay, so I have hopped over here to my Sysmon, and this is one of those things that gets kind of complicated to look at, right? So I decided to show you over here in the application. I've created a subscription name, called it Sysmon to QRadar, um, and I'm gonna add computers. I could add a bunch of them, right? So, but as this is my test environment, and it's kind of a small place, I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna add one machine. We can test that if you like. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna select my events, and in this case, we don't want to do this by log events because this is one of those places that Sysmon does things that are a little different than we're traditionally used to seeing. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look for my Sysmon. 
Okay, I'm going to click off Sysmon here, Sysmon here, all well and good. Now we can go through and we could trim this by event IDs. And one of the big things I've learned here is this is not something that event IDs particularly matter, right? And I know that's kind of an odd thing to say. Um, and I'm going to, excuse me, I didn't check these off earlier. I want all the things, okay, which we don't normally do. But we're going to look at these categories because the categories and the keywords become important. So I'm going to say I want to know about a number of these things, process creation, file creation, network connection detected. I am going to exclude because that's an awful lot of things most of the time. And I don't believe, right? And I know there's a lot of regulatory out there and I don't want to make a blanket statement, but so far I haven't seen that as required for file integrity monitoring. So you can include it, but I don't think we require that. I'm going to take the service date because that doesn't hurt. We definitely want process terminated, driver loaded. Image loaded, I'm going to leave out, right? But same deal, you might require it based on your very specific requirements for FIM. But I'm giving you a nice general here. I'm going to take create thread. Uh, raw access is going to be really rare, so we're going to want to know about it. Process accessed, we're going to take file created, registry object added or deleted, absolutely. Value set, I'm going to say yes on this. Now, there are some applications that this is going to be a really massive amount of data, and you may want to back off on registry value set. Uh, object renamed, file stream created, uh, config changed, absolutely. So as far as pipes, named pipes, all of that, I think we should have created, but I'm going to opt against connected. Okay, uh, activity on the WMI. Uh, activity deleted, filter deleted. I'm going to say I do not want the DNS. I do want the file deleted. Okay, I talked about that kind of quickly, and I'll see if I can uh, put this in a screen for you at the end so you have all of this data. So if we go through and we collect all of these, and here's the fun. I want to know about audit success, audit fail, and classic. So this is kind of a correlated down thing. I have gone through. I have collected just the source, Sysmon, right? Just the source. And I've gone through and I have said I care about certain tasks and certain keywords. And what this just did is this created this XML file for us, which I think that's awesome. Let me grab that XML file. From there, I can go back to our friend XPath, right? I am now back in the WinCollect configuration console. I have selected the uh, AV workstation but I could have selected a domain for this, right? And I'm just gonna paste this in there. So unlike any of these things that cause a Windows server or workstation to push, we have told WinCollect that it is going to pull this very, very specific set of uh, uh, logs, right? So I'm gonna deploy changes up here so it goes out to the workstation or it goes out to the servers in this case. And this is how we can grab the Sysmon event using WinCollect and we can do it pretty easily. Okay, so I have brought up my Q radar here and you will see my log activity window. I have gone through and you will see what's showing up as Windows Auth servers, just how it shows up in WinCollect. It is worthy of note that the WinCollect here is just the client's uh, alert messages. And then I drilled down into this and these are the events I am getting for uh, some of these events that are coming out of Sysmon. Process created, termination, success, all of that good stuff. And we can drill into these these are all fully articulated inside QRadar. The rules are all made. So if we start to see something that is a bad thing, it's already logic built in. The drill downs are already there, right? That's one of the big things I want you to get from this is not only is this how we get the data in the machine, but the logic and the rules to alert you if a bad thing happens, they are written. So guys, I am Mike Winkler, and this has been number two of um, probably five or six that are in our Win Collector, how to get the Windows logs into your QRadar series. Let me know what you think, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.